Welcome to the week five edition of Catamount Football with Coach Matt Land. I'm Bill Mayo, your host. And on this week's show, we're going to take a look back at the Sequoia game and also talk about the upcoming game at Harmon Field with Creekview. So stay right here. We're back with more Catamount Football in just a minute. Got car problems? That's no problem for Transformers Transmission Specialists. Bring your foreigner domestic vehicle into Transformers and have our certified master technicians perform the most comprehensive diagnostics over any other shop. Transformers utilizes the latest technology so you can rest assured that you get the proper diagnosis the first time so only necessary repairs are made. Save time and money on all your brake, AC, tune-up, and transmission needs. All backed by the best warranty in the business. Transformers Transmission Specialists. When is the last time you have compared your car, life, or health insurance costs? At Advanced Insurance Strategies, we know your time is valuable. Therefore, we have developed AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. You can now go online anytime, anywhere, and get quick and easy quotes for your car, life, or health insurance from respected companies such as Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia, Assurant Health, Alliant Health Plans, and Drive Insurance from Progressive. Receive unparalleled customer service from a local insurance agency while using AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. Well, Coach, we reached Game Five, and it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good way to to hit the midpoint of the season with a forty-five to nothing uh, uh, shellacking. I guess is the best word of, of the Sequoia Chiefs. Well, it was a game that our kids were extremely motivated for, um, and, and I don't think it. I think it was because it was Sequoia. We have uh, utmost respect for their team. We knew they'd be a good team. We had a history. Uh, the kids, you know, I don't think we showed them any film or anything of that, but I, I'm... We, we talked we, about it. We talked week. about it. That's right. That's right. We talked about it. Uh, but I think the third thing is, is our kids have really begun to really buy into the fact that we're just trying to get better this week than we were the week before. And let's be better this series. And, you, you know, the coaches have done an outstanding job of, of, of preaching that message to them and just saying, look, let's just let's keep working on these things, you know. And, and you know, you, you peel this away, you peel that away. How good can you really be? Uh, and, you know, when you start taking distractions away, sometimes you, you find that you're a pretty good team. And so, you know, I, I'm excited for where we're headed as a football team. Uh, this week was probably one of the more complete games, at least in these first five games, I think we're going to look back as a staff and look at and say that was a complete mm -hmm. game. Absolutely. Uh, defensively, uh, a second consecutive shutout. Uh, can't ask much more from those guys. I mean, they did a terrific job of, of just uh, – Squashing Sequoia. Well, you know, they there, just there was, they weren't able to get really anything. No, going. and and they had playmakers. Number four, I mean, I'm sorry, number three was the number five receiver in the state coming into the game, and and Coach McKinney, I mean, Coach Carpenter put Jordan McKinney on uh, on basically on three all night long, and uh, had two passes for like 12 yards or whatever. But our defense is really finding it's it's kind of its groove. You know, one of the things that. I think as a, as a defensive coach that you can sometimes make a mistake with is you, 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 you compound things. You, you see this formation, we're going to do this. They do this, we do this. And that's really kind of, and you know this, that's what offenses have really kind of begun to draw you into. But Coach Carpenter, Coach Thompson, Coach Bennett, uh, Coach Lawless has done an outstanding job of simplifying our defense and basically letting our players play. And I, and I think that's why you're beginning to see such a progressive manner in our defense has been that. I mean, how do you feel about – when you look at our offense, how are they progressing moving up to week five? I, I think very well. One, one point I wanted to make about the defense real quick, though, before we switch gears was two guys, to me, that are really starting to kind of hit their stride are, are 11 and 15. No doubt. Edder and, and Nate Mays. Nate is getting comfortable in the defense now and in, in his role, mm -hmm. not trying to do too much, is doing what he does. And he – 
both of those guys are flashing everywhere. Well, and you put a, you create an interesting dynamic. Nate has been playing in the middle, but we also are kind of moving him up some to play on the mm -hmm. end. You've got Jace on one side, you've got Edwin on the other side. And it's really created a dynamic where um, I'm not saying there's nowhere to run because there is places to run. There's 11 guys on the sure. field. But, but those guys are beginning to find their unique skill set. Mm -hmm. And when you see what Edder has always done, but you see now Jace's role continuing to evolve and now Nate being the player that we kind of thought Nate would be, yeah. it's exciting. But I'm going to tell you something. Jake Myers, looking back at the film, he had one of the best games of, of, of the really – A young is doing a good job. Unbelievable, good job. they are. So, I'm very excited about yeah. them. Very, very excited about uh, them. Offensively, um, a lot of big plays in the game, which are exciting to see. I mean, yeah. you like those couple of long runs by Kelvis, some long pass plays. It seemed like every time I looked up, we were – Going 50 yards and getting tackled at the one. <laughs> Wasn't that crazy? <laughs> just, just how, get, how did you get in at the one? You couldn't, know? couldn't so. quite get across the goal line there. But, but uh, the, I think the only the thing, there's always room for improvement. You like to see those first three possessions that we had in the game. We had a touchdown, a field goal, and a block field goal. Yep. It really should have been 21 to nothing right out of the gate. Should and that's the thing that we'll focus on. Certainly all the good things and, and show the kids. But also let's look at those first three drives. You know, what happened on the two where we didn't, the one with the field goal and the one with the uh, block field goal. Why do we not convert those into touchdowns and look for improvement there? But overall, it was a very, very uh, – we've had three, which has got to be a record, I think three weeks in a row. One was a record. A hundred-yard receiver and three different guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was Tyler Nolan, Zeke, and then Peter. Yeah, Peter. Uh, so back-to-back-to-back, to back to back, hundred-yard receivers, which yeah. is which is big for us, and over 200 yards passing. No doubt. Well, Peyton's do such a good job right now of distributing the ball. Coach Napier's done an outstanding job of calling the plays. But a lot of those plays, you're not calling a receiver. You, you know, Peyton's – Right. You know, he's doing what he sees, or depending on how our blocking scheme is, he may get flushed out. And now I'm looking at these two receivers instead of the full field concept. So I've been very, 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 very pleased with Peyton and our offensive line. I, but I, the thing that I, when I see our offense that excites me, though, is to, is, you know, what we had, I think I heard you all say we had 545 yards in the first three quarters, that, yeah. have a running clock there. We had 11 guys touch the ball. Right. And, you know, when you look at that as an offense, uh, as a defensive coach, and you're sitting there going, there's 11 different guys that's touching this ball. That is, that's difficult. And, and that's not to say you can't stop that by no stretch. It's just to say everybody's getting a piece of the pie. And more importantly, it speaks, I think, to the character of these boys because they're not selfish. They understand, right. look, I'm sure Peter was waiting for his 100-yard game, but he knew the other night they doubled up on Zeke. And when they took Zeke away, it left the, the middle. And, we just, and, you know, we kept Zeke on the other side of, of, uh, of Peter, and Peter's open. So, it was – and it's good to see Chase Westfall. Absolutely. Get back and get some, a, a big, long pass, which he we really see during the highlights. He looked healthy and, and got kind of back to what, what we want to see out of but Chase. But I, I want to real quick say a kudo to, to uh, Pender. Logan Pender, you know, we, we talk about passing. We, we talk about all these long runners. And at the end of the day, you're going to watch in this film – you, you can't have that without a Logan Pender. That's right. And, and if, you know, there's one – I'd love to get Logan the ball more, you know, but he knows what his role is on this team, and uh, his carries are going to come. But the great thing about it is what, probably the pinnacle of unselfishness. And when he goes out on that field, I, I'm a Logan Pender fan. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, and his little, I think all of us are. His little so, bowling ball buddy, number four, yeah, Keith yeah, Adams, Keith does a great <laughs> job too. That's, that's the little bowling ball that's running <laughs> that's around out exactly there. Right. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Real quick, special teams, they did an excellent job. Uh, almost a 40-yard field goal, uh, great kickoffs, great yeah. coverage. Yeah, that, I, I'm very proud of our coverage teams. Yeah. You know, that, we, they had some dangerous guys back there returning. Uh, Esai, another solid game kicking. Matthew Howe, Jordan McKinney, another solid game uh, snapping. We, we still are battling a little bit on, our, on field goal, mm -hmm. uh, and we made a few adjustments during the game. Uh, we're going to keep tweaking on that. But at the end of the day, uh, our kicker is very sound. Ed only got to kick once, and at the end of the day, if Ed doesn't kick, I feel pretty good about that because uh, that means we're not punting and the offense is doing their job. So, That's right. overall, I was very, very, very pleased with all three phases of the game. All right, very good. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back with more Cat Mount football in just a minute. You asked for more HD channels, and Optilink delivered. Check out hit series and current movies on MAV TV, FXX, and Universal. Like reality and nature shows, try Discovery and TLC. For music lovers, we added Great American Country and Access TV. 
And for the kids, we added HD versions of Animal Planet, Disney Channel, and National Geographic. And when you need to unwind, try Escapes TV. For more details, go to Optolink.us. Have you ever heard the term, your eyes are your expressions, the windows to your soul? But when your eyelids look tired and they start to sag, it will make you look much older than you actually are. There is a simple surgical procedure called a blepharoplasty or eyelid tuck, which can help to rejuvenate and redefine the contours around your eyelids. It will even improve your fields of vision and a portion may even be covered by insurance. We can help redefine how others see you. Welcome back to Catamount Football. We've got our player interview segment. Guys, welcome to the show and introduce yourselves, please. Hi, I'm Logan Pender. I'm number 30 and I'm a junior and I play fullback. Keith Rodriguez, number 14, senior, and I'm a kicker. All right, Kiko, let's start with you. Tell me about, uh, tell me about, being, about being a kicker. That's a, uh, you guys, you guys, I tease y'all a lot, but that's a that's pretty, pretty tough job, especially the, the mental part of it. Talk, talk about that. Yes, sir. Um, like most people, I guess, seem to say it's easy, but I mean, just a little mistake and it's a big part of the game. Little, little parts make a big thing. Yeah. I would think, I would think for you guys, the game's going along and, and you know, it comes down to a, a key kick. How about, what do you do to keep yourself mentally into the game and focused on what's going on uh, when there's such long stretches where, you, where you're not, you know, you're not a part of the action? Well, I just try to focus and just, just block everything out, just listen to my coach and just do what I'm supposed to do. Talk about your, your kind of your pre-kick routine. When you're getting lined up, what, did you, what, what are the things you're looking at when you're getting yourself set to kick, kick a field goal or kick an extra point? Uh, well, you have to set your tee, of course, and then just take your normal steps because you have to do the normal steps because if you do them different, then it's going to change the way you kick. That's why you have to do it the same every time. Just kick how we practice. How we so the, so the, the hash marks in high school football are pretty wide. If you're on the left hash versus the right hash, how, what, what do you, how do you direct your angle, set up your angle, do that kind of thing? Well, as a soccer player, you tend to curve the ball to the left. So it's actually kind of easier on the, le on the left hash mark than mm -hmm. on the right, because then you'll curve it out. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. So do you just do you adjust your aim? Is that kind of like hitting a golf ball? You just adjust your aim a little bit more to the, to the right to compensate for the, the hook on it? Yes, sir. Now, talk about the field goal you hit Friday night. That was a pretty good, pretty, was it 40? It was like 38. 38, OK. Yes, uh, well, like, this is actually the first time in the season that I don't feel as pressured because, I don't know, I just pressure myself sometimes and just, I feel really good about it. Yeah, you talk about playing, uh, you kick the ball a lot, obviously, in soccer, you're, but that's, that's more of a free-flowing is the, is the um, uh, how is being a kicker in football different than, than kicking the ball in soccer? I mean, is it just, because you got that single thing to focus on and all the guys coming after you, right, in football? Mm -hmm. Well, it is actually different, the, the, your form of kick. I mean, most people just think it's easy or the same, but if you kick it different, the same as soccer, then it's not going to go the same way and not get the same spin and everything. How many, how many times do you think you kick the ball during a week of practice? Uh, around 80, maybe. A bunch, right? There's a lot, lot, lot of kicking going on. Yes, well, we certainly appreciate all the hard work you do, and uh, good job Friday night. All right, Logan, let's talk to you. Tell me about being a fullback. Uh, it's a very unselfish position because <laughs> you have to block for, the run, I mean, block for the running back. And, like, you have to take a lot of hard hits, like hitting the linebacker, hitting the corners. I always tell you guys, you guys are just a guard with a 30 or 40 number. <laughs> you, 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 do, you spend a lot of time blocking, don't you? Yes, sir. T tell me about that, that part of the – because some of the plays we run, I mean, you have different angles you have to get, and it's on the run, you know you have to adjust on the fly. Kind of talk about that a little bit as far as the, some of the angles you got to pick up on the different plays. Like, uh, we have to run like a long stretch route on the, a pitch, on the pitch, and you have to pick up the corner. And it's like very hard adjusting right there sometimes, mm -hmm. like depending on how the uh, corner plays. And then on the lead, you, you're just going straight up into the line. You've got to take on the, usually one of the big linebackers in there, right? That's a, that's yes, a train wreck, right? Yes, sir. Talk about that one a little bit. That's yeah. You do a great job of that, of getting under those guys' pads. Have to like get really low, and get under my pads, and like blow the linebacker up, open a hole for Kelvis and Nolan and Kyrick. 
Now, occasionally, Coach Napier throws you a bone, you get to run the trap or, or belly or something like that. Kind of talk about that side of your game, because you do a great job of running the football as well. Yes, sir. Uh, like, we run, we run the trap. Uh, Try to explain how to get the ball. <laughs> well, it, the the guard comes across and you f you fall right behind the right behind the guard on the trap play, right? Is, yes, sir. Does it kind of look like a door opening when when he when he traps that that three technique? Yes, sir. Yeah. It's wide open. Like uh, usually it'll be like one person I have to beat the uh, like get get outside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've had some you've had some good long runs on traps this year. Tell me about you, in middle school you played offensive line and then you transitioned to, to fullback in high school what led you to, to want to go down that path as a as a fullback versus a guard like I don't know my dad like he just inspired me to want to play fullback like looking at the pictures of him in high school yeah yes sir and you've done a great job in the weight room too kind of you you really um, made yourself a lot stronger and a lot more physical how has that helped you on the football field like it made me a lot more physical and just made everything fall in place mm -hmm. increase your speed too right you seem yes, to be sir. Seem to have gotten a lot faster. We're certainly glad to have you on your team. You're doing a great job as a fullback. And Kiko, good job kicking the football the other night and, and, and all year so far. Looking forward to seeing you guys the rest of the season. Stay right here back with more Cat Mouth Football in just a minute. Train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Get one-on-one -on -one training from former professional and collegiate players, featuring indoor baseball and softball training facilities, ground ball area, three pitching mounds, and four batting cages. Performance Sports Academy is also available for team rentals. Call 706-537-3169 today and train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Okay, here's your problem. Uh, we're going to have to make a replacement. Here is your prescription. Call Carpet Express immediately. Saw. Hammer. Perfect. Another successful replacement by Carpet Express. Back on Cat and Mouth Football with our second half of our player interview segment. Guys, welcome to the show and introduce yourselves, please. I'm Chris Hicks, number 75, and I'm a senior offensive lineman. I'm Travis Nielsen. I'm a junior. I play free safety, and I'm number 16. All right, Travis, let's start with you down there on the end. All right. Talk about you, you were out a couple of weeks with an injury. Kind of update us on everybody on what happened to you in the Scottsboro game and then, and then how you've gotten yourself back out on the field. Well, uh, in the Scottsboro game, they threw a post, and I – Came over the middle, I hit him, and like I didn't wrap up very well, so I pinned my arm, but it just broke my wrist. And then, uh, do you know immediately when? Like as soon as I hit him, I looked down, I, like I couldn't use it; it was like stuck. So I knew it was broken, and then I just went in the locker room and they fixed it up. All right. So tell me about the 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 kind of the recovery process, and now you're obviously out there playing with a cast on on Friday night. Kind of go go through that whole thing. Well, I only missed uh, one week, the, the Calhoun game I missed, which was an important game. But, uh, like, I, I knew I had to stay in shape and I couldn't really run, but I could still work out this arm. And I, I, I ran on, like, the elliptical and stuff like that. So, so how's it playing defensive back kind of, kind of one-handed with it? Well, like, <laughs> it's really important that, like, I don't try to catch the ball. Like, I got to, like, if it's a sure catch, I can catch it. But I got to make sure I spike it down because we don't want to, like, tip it up and, like let them catch it. Kind of go through the responsibilities of your position. You, you play a key role back there. Talk, it's, talk about what your what your responsibilities are. Well, like sometimes there's not that much action because we're making the tackles like before it even gets to me. But it's really important that I just like uh, stick to my responsibilities and don't let anybody behind me. It's like I, I think one of the big things for you guys, and, and we talked about this last week with one of the corners, is the communication aspect. Yeah. You guys have to work together, kind of like offensive linemen, but you have such – you're working across 50, 53 yards, the width of the field. Go through that, how you guys make sure everybody's on the same page and, and you're all, all on the right coverage and the right responsibilities. Well, uh, sometimes uh, – the biggest problem is sometimes we get the call, like, pretty late, but as soon as we get the call, we just have to make sure we transfer it from, like, one side of the field to the other, make sure the other side of the corner, like, we have to make sure he gets it and then – 
Like with the formations, it changes a lot. We have to make sure people get shifted. That was a big thing against Sequoia. We had to make sure the line got shifted, the D-line. So. Yeah, you're talking about the offensive formation will dictate sometimes how you guys line up and you've got to get people moved in the right places and all yes, that good sir. stuff. Back-to-back -to -back shutouts, how does that feel? Uh, it feels really good. We're like the offense has a big part in that too. So, but we're we're playing pretty good as a team. Absolutely, you're doing a great job, and uh, thanks for everything you do. Look forward to seeing you on the field the rest of the season. All right, <clears throat> all right, Chris. Let's talk to you. Tell me about being a being an offensive lineman for the Catamounts this year. Well, uh, you know, we all work together as a team. Mainly, it's it's all about uh, teamwork when it comes to being an offensive lineman because. You know, if everyone on the offensive line doesn't get their job done, then it's a failure. You know, we have to make sure everybody gets their assignment done and everybody knows their plays. And uh, like this year, we've started our, our tests on Thursday nights where we take home a play sheet you know, with a bunch of plays on it that we need to know that week and we all draw it up and, you know, we all sit there and sit around, do our plays, make sure everybody knows what's going on. Yeah. And, and, and that's uh, good, that's good. Do. We don't expect you guys to sit there and do it by yourself. That's, that's kind of the whole object is get you guys <clears throat> working together to make sure everybody knows because yes, you have to draw every position, right? Yes, sir. You, you're one of the guys that we've asked to, to, to play multiple positions. You can play both guard spots and you can play both tackle spots. Kind of, how does that help you when you're playing one and, and, and you know the other position so well? Well, uh, <clears throat> we have a lot of guys like that that uh, we have switching in at different positions and uh, all of us have talked and it really helps to know uh, more than one position because uh, when, say, I'm playing tackle and I know where Hayden, our left guard, is going, then uh, it helps me out and it helps to know where the ball's going and exactly what the running back's going to be doing. Yep. Your main spot is right tackle. We, we, we very right handed a lot of times, like to run the ball to the right. Big responsibilities over there in the run game. Kind of go through that, that your, your perspective on that. Uh, well, sometimes knowing that uh, before a game, um, you can get nervous knowing that a lot of times we're going to run the ball to the right or we're going to we have a lot of play actions to the right um but i mean it's it's no different really just go out there do your job everything's okay you face you faced a, some different body types this year some quick guys some big guys how does your how does your game change when you got a big big heavy guy you're playing against versus maybe a, a little quick guy well, uh, a lot of times if I have like a bigger guy that's not as quick, I, I have to be more physical and just come off the ball hard. Um, but if I've got a guy that's uh, quick and uses his hands a lot on pass rushes, I have to sit back and you know hold my water and mm -hmm. not let him just take right. advantage of me. Well, very good. You guys are doing a great job. Thanks for everything you do. Look forward to seeing you against Creekview this Friday night. So right here back with more Catamount football after these messages. I can't believe it's football time again here in Northwest Georgia. The Oakwood Cafe and my family are big fans of football, much like most of our customers. But this year, instead of just rooting for our teams, we are also rooting for your team. So bring your ticket stub out to the Oakwood Cafe on Saturday night and you will receive a discount based on your team's margin of victory. If your team wins by 50 points, you will receive 50% off. So good luck and come on out to the Oakwood Cafe on Saturday night. Go, Go Big Red! Red. Go Honesty, integrity, and hard work, leadership, quality, and value. Just a few words to describe the company and people that make up Shaw Industries. Shaw Industries, the world's leading carpet manufacturer, is proud to be a sponsor of Dalton Catamount Football. Shaw Industries, where great floors begin. Families are the heart of our region. That is why Hamilton is here. Hamilton Medical Center's Turner Maternal and Infant Care Center provides expert care with the comfort of home-like rooms and amenities, with on-site neonatologists and a level three neonatal intensive care unit where parents can stay overnight with their new baby if a NICU stay is needed. We're here for you. Hamilton Medical Center, your health is our mission. Welcome back to Catamount Football, and we've got our coaches segment. We've got Coach Steve Sparks. Coach Sparks, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be here. Right. Well, you're in your fourth season. Hard to believe it's already been four years, isn't it? It, it is. It is. I'll tell you, it seems like it was just yesterday that I was getting here. 
So I'm, re I'm really pleased to be here. Talk about, it. You've, you've been at a lot of different places. Uh, just kind of give me your overview of the Catamount program and what it's like to be a part of Dalton football. Well, uh, I think you know my answer on that. <laughs> uh, I, I've got to tell you that I've been, uh, <clears throat> I've been in Gwinnett County, I've been in uh, Cobb County, uh, I've been at Calhoun, I've been in Murray County, and o uh, over this um, 30, uh, quickly approaching 37 years of, uh, of uh, coaching, uh, I can tell you that nothing beats Catamount football. Uh, the, um, the attention the community gives to, to the sport uh, and the kids and the coaches uh, is just special. Um, I got to tell you that our schools are special. Uh, uh, I cannot imagine anyone wanting to go anywhere else than to be at Dalton High School. Yeah. Simple it, and plain. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of interesting to hear somebody else's perspective that's been a lot of different places when, you know, my point of view has all been here. Uh, so it's nice, nice to hear that, that things are being done the right way and from the quarterback club, parents, all the way down the line, administration, all very positive, right? I, absolutely. Uh, I think we've got the best teachers in the world. I, I think we've got wonderful administrators. I think the schools are, are run exceptionally well. Uh, I think our athletics, uh, Coach McKinney has revolutionized uh, athletics at Dalton High School as well and doing a wonderful job as well. Very good. Let's talk about, you switched last year with Coach Running Backs, now this year you're working with the offensive line, you and I are working together. Talk about moving back to the offensive line somewhere that's near and dear to your heart. Uh, you, you know me <laughs> <laughs> and you know I'd rather be there than anywhere else. Um, I think once you, once you are an offensive line coach that uh, there's nothing else that you want to coach, and I, I think you feel that way too. We got a got a good group of got a good group of linemen, um, older kids, younger kids. Mm -hmm. Talk about the mix a little bit. We do, we do have a good mix. Uh, you know, we were talking coming back from uh, uh, Cherokee County the other night, and we're trying to figure out a way that we can have three to start. You, you know, if, if we had if we had that base to start mm -hmm. with, three kids to start with. Right now it could be two, it could be one, it, but, but if we had a base of three to start from, uh, for next the, season, you're the, rebuilding, yeah, the right. rebuilding could be really good. Uh, uh, right now, as it stands, we're going to lose uh, quite a few to graduation. Uh, our seniors are, are good kids. I think, I think several of them have an opportunity to play somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the younger kids are getting better all the time. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, just being able to play eight kids the other night on the offensive line was done that good too. We've done that two weeks in a row now, so that's good. That gets those good. guys, those young fellows in there, gets them some game experience. Absolutely. Going. The more we can do that, the better. That's right. Well, before we close up, in, just update us on your family. I know you have a, have a wide variety of, of folks out there. So I have a lot of things going on, yeah. and they're spreading out everywhere. We, we've, we've got one in Birmingham now. Uh, uh, our daughter Missy is married to Colby Duckett, and uh, he's doing his residency at UAB mm -hmm. in Birmingham. So we got ties there in Birmingham. Lots of good places to go and visit. Uh, my uh, son is in the Navy, Navy Reserve and uh, uh, works for UPS. He's about to become a driver, and uh, my youngest is uh, uh, about to become a. Uh, uh, elementary school math teacher so we're, we're thrilled go. about that and um, uh, family is doing well my mother's had a, a few visits to the hospital and had a little surgery um, we've got a little more coming up but uh, family's doing well and we're blessed very good well thanks for coming to the show and thanks for everything you do for catamount football it's great to be here so right here back with more catamount football after these messages Got car problems? That's no problem for Transformers Transmission Specialists. Bring your foreign or domestic vehicle into Transformers and have our certified master technicians perform the most comprehensive diagnostics over any other shop. Transformers utilizes the latest technology so you can rest assured that you get the proper diagnosis the first time so only necessary repairs are made. Save time and money on all your brake, AC, tune-up, and transmission needs. All backed by the best warranty in the business. Transformers Transmission Specialists.
When is the last time you have compared your car, life, or health insurance costs? At Advanced Insurance Strategies, we know your time is valuable. Therefore, we have developed AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. You can now go online anytime, anywhere, and get quick and easy quotes for your car, life, or health insurance from respected companies such as Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia, Assurant Health, Alliant Health Plans, and Drive Insurance from Progressive. Receive unparalleled customer service from a local insurance agency while using AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. Coach, let's take a look at the highlights from the first half of the Sequoia game. Uh, great facility down there. Beautiful field. Was in really excellent was. condition. Really was. I it really enjoyed. Uh, that's a field that just had just completed a new renovation to the track, um, uh, and to uh, to complement our guys, they were having a problem that they warned us about. <laughs> which our guys never did have, which was just the moisture still under the track, but just oh, a great okay. facility to play at. We started out a uh, good return by, um, by Tyler. Uh, he, you know, he's such a weapon for us in the return game. First play of the game, a little rollout pass. Good throw and catch there. Pretty good protection. They were re very aggressive, especially early in the game. Really came, really flew up field fast. There's Chase Westfall making a good catch. A little draw play here. Good job by Kelvis. See Chris Hicks, Hicks making a nice block over there on the play side of it. Running the guy upfield. Evan Stewart, Hayden, Logan Mathis. Good to see Kelvis kind of getting his feet back to where he was at. Well, sweet play here. Good job by Peter Sigmund of holding that defensive back up. Elect to kick a field goal here on fourth about seven and eight. Good job by Kiko. It's good to get Kiko out there early on and kind of get, you know, that, for all kickers, that settles their nerves. We showed a field goal twice. <laughs> Come on, Brandon. Hey, everybody, deserves a, everybody deserves a replay, Coach, even kickers, right? I guess. <laughs> so we come back, great kickoff. You know, he's putting exactly where we want it, right into that corner, uh, giving us such an advantage. Good job of, of Nate uh, uh, coming down. Uh, here's just a, a typical adjustment that we made uh, actually on the bus. Everybody going to a gap control, gap step defense. Uh, great job of Charlie Martin coming up. Charlie has played so consistent these last three weeks for us. Uh, and uh, just a great job here spreading it out. Charlie comes up off his receiver, makes the tackle. Uh, and, and great job of playing that, taking the deeper receiver. Come back and want to throw a little inside curl. And your Perez has become, he was our run stopper, but he's become a pretty doggone good pass rusher as well. So it's been good to really get, you'll see him get his hand up right here. Good pressure out of Chipper Elrod. And uh, once again, just a good solid play by our defensive line. Well, you know, he knows he's not going to get there for the sack, but he, he does the smart thing, just sticks those paws up in the air. Absolutely. Uh, when he sees a quarterback about to throw the football. You're really going to see some good hits. You see these guys looking right now, <laughs> some bodies flying. But that's really what we want to see. We want to see our guys getting aggressive on well, that. Well, counterplay here. Good job by Andrew, Chase Westfall, Hayden Gross. Good hard running by Tyler Nolan. I wish this was a, re a replay. If it's not, you will. I want you to watch Andrew Williams right there on that pull block. Chris Hicks right here driving his man. And then just his running. What a, I mean, that right there is our running game. That was, that was awesome. I love seeing that play. Good pass protection. Peyton rolling out, keeping the play alive. Keeping his eyes downfield and, and finds a receiver there. You'll see it right here. Just a good job right here of our line. Good job by Peter. Tyler Britton had a solid game for us as well. Good job right here. It's a little tight end delay. Uh, good job by Chase. I'll tell you, this is the first game where Chase has looked like Chase. I think he's Absolutely. finally back, back healthy again. Absolutely. Just a little post route right there. Good job by Peter Sigmund. Good catch. This is one of those balls down at the one-yard line. Yeah, this happened to us three times. Quarterback sneak. What was that? What you touchdown call vulture. To touchdown vulture. <laughs> That's great. Good job of coming off the ball by the guys up front. Good protection. Good job by Peyton of getting low and sneaking it in there. Intimate view of the fans this week since we had to film from such a yeah. low angle. I think, I think he was on row 15, seat 7 <laughs> with, the, with the camera. With the handheld, yeah. right? 
So start out first down right here, run just a little buck sweep. Great job right here of our defense. Jason Chastain right now is probably making a third of his tackles, running people down from behind. And, you know, that's such an advantage. Great penetration right there on the defense front. Warner Braun uh, had a great solid game for us. Just a good solid guy. Our interior, you see penetration right there once again by Warner Braun and then the defense. And love seeing, as your man up at Tennessee says, a host of catamounts coming right. in and making a tackle. Well, uh, Coach Jones used a new one this week. He said, population to the football. <laughs> That's pretty good. I heard him on an interview. Let's get population <laughs> to the football. That's I'm thinking, okay. uh, he's, he's one of those uh, cerebral guys. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Great job right here. He just basically just pulled the ball out of the guy. I, 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 that's a tough play. You'll see it right here. A little throwback. He sits on it. That kid's their number, number five receiver in the state. Zeke was playing with a little bit of a bad ankle, and, and like I said, they doubled up on him and took him Comes away from the counter us. again. Guys flying around. Good job by Hayden and Andrew. And good down blocks by the, the right side, Evan Stewart and, and Chris Hicks. Blocking down and walling those guys off. Wow, what a great job. Good job by the receivers Good down job, there. I'd say, yeah. Great job right there, receivers downfield. Evan Pope's in there. <clears throat> Comes a toss sweep. You know, weigh 168 pounds. That guy runs a heck of a lot heavier. I mean, he sure there's does. A, that's one of the things the chain crew guy said. You see right here, and thank goodness this guy right here trips. Yep. Otherwise, he would have gone to the house. Come back and run a little zone play. This kid's a freshman. A uh, stout kid, great job right here by Edder. And uh, you'll see it right here, staying at home. And, yes, and this is what we talk about. You, you know, just do your job. And that's what Edder's probably as good at as anything is doing his job. Uh, and he, he does it well. They moved the ball down and got the ball down the field. And then when we borrowed a couple of the big boys and brought, you know, we're going to have to teach Andrew how to celebrate. That's a, <laughs> that's a great play right there. <laughs> what a great player right there. Nate and Andrew getting in there, Ural's in there. Uh, Jamel Darville, I mean, uh, just a great job. And then right here, we come back and block one, and they told me they could do this. They said, Coach, and in fact, Nate, kind of funny, he said, Coach, I owe one since he let his man got the block for them. He said, I'm going to go back and get that one, and he did. So just a, a great job coming off the edge. And we actually worked on this this week with my big magic blue pad I've got out there on taking the ball off their foot. So just a great job of our defense and our special teams there. There it is. Good, good hard running. Yeah, well, they were a physical defense. They, they very, brought very a lot physical. of people. Did a lot of slanting, a lot of stunting. Good pass protection. Great job of Peter just going up and plucking the ball out of the air. And just good touch by Peyton. I mean, basically oh. just putting it right in the, basically in the right place. Love seeing excitement yep, right there. Yep, I like there. the guys getting excited. Great pass, great, good protection though right here. Look at our line, just built a good wall. And you know, when you got, when you got pass protection, got you become time. a great passing right. team. <laughs> so you see us right here, still getting a little bit of bleed through right there, but he was able to get a piece of him and hold him in. So right here, hadn't planned on this, but uh, worked out to our favor. Kicks a little worm burner to number four. And right here, what's Jordan McKinney's speed? I mean, he just basically just outruns him to the sidelines. Sure did. Cut off that angle. The guy looked like he had an angle, and Jordan just cut him off. Absolutely. <clears throat> Come back and run just a little speed sweep. And uh, just a great job of, uh, of Chipper Elrod and, and Edder uh, just building a wall. Right here, a little tunnel screen, and Edder just tracks him down. And watch this. I mean, it's just like hold him up and let everybody, it's like a pinata. Right. <laughs> everybody take a whack. Everybody take a whack. So great job right here of Edder reading that. But look, at uh, Jamel has become a very, very good uh, screen player, draw player, spell, and, and Uriel, once again, just solid again. Good penetration right here by our defense. Warner Braun getting great pressure pushing. And right, you don't see it right there, but Jake Myers comes in and just lowers the hammer. Trying to run a little zone play. Just We made an adjustment on the sideline, and uh, Kelvis, just that's Kelvis being Kelvis. And Tyler beating Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it, it's blocked up pretty good. He has to jump one guy. A guy slanted on Andrew over there at left tackle. Uh, but once Kellis hops him but, but the linemen right here, keeping you, their feet moving, though. Right, and you see the I mean, wall right, right there. Yeah, right they, there. They've walled them off, and uh, then Kellis just takes off. It's good coaching, right? Absolutely. <laughs> great job, guys. That's a great, great play right there. Great play. And it's a team play. I mean, I mean, you see, 
still get a little bleed through there. Finally, we were able to get in at halftime and, and get that squared away. So 24 to nothing. Felt pretty good at this point, but still felt like they were a dangerous team. Come back and right here, Charlie Martin, just a great hit uh, on number 24. Hopefully we'll see this again. He sees it coming across. He plays the layer route and uh, basically puts the ball right where it's at. Of course, a little 59, getting a little extracurricular activity there for them. So, <laughs> great job right there. Look at, look at Warner Braun. Just, I mean, this is one of those, to me, this is one of those weight room games. <laughs> yep. Good job. Good, good decision by Peyton just to pull it down and run it. Just get what he <laughs> can. That, point, that's right. that, was, that was smart. Stop the clock. This is right at the end of the half. They rush about, they ended up, I think, with two guys rushing at that point. So yeah. Peyton was smart, just pull it down and run yeah. it. Take what come they back and you. run the draw. We saw him do that, so we came back and ran the draw at him, and <clears throat> Tyler picked up. Pretty good gain here on the draw play. Good job of Andrew Williams right yeah. there. That guy getting up field, and Andrew just shucking him and moving him up the field. Love seeing Logan Mathis and Chris Hicks and all our linemen downfield, Evan Stewart. Great job right here, though, of our defense. We, were, we missed the field goal there. Or no, I'm sorry, we, we, we went out there on the downs. Right. Come back here and uh, just a great job of our defense building a wall and not letting them get back down to where they could kick a field goal or anything and burn out the last 53 seconds of the game. Of the half. Yeah, of the half. Thank right. You. So 24 nothing at the half. We're going to take a uh, short break. We'll be back with the second half highlights of Dalton versus Sequoia in just a minute. Looking for something the whole family can watch? Check out OptiLink's new channels. Mav TV is a great place for motorsports and hit movies. Antenna TV is TV the way it used to be with your favorite old shows. Catch today's funniest comedians on Comedy TV. And there's Glenn Beck's new network, The Blaze. For hit movies and shows in HD, try Universal and FXX. For uplifting programming, there's Up TV or Aspire, Magic Johnson's new network. For more details, go to OptiLink.us. Have you ever heard the term, your eyes are your expressions, the windows to your soul? But when your eyelids look tired and they start to sag, it will make you look much older than you actually are. There is a simple surgical procedure called a blepharoplasty or eyelid tuck, which can help to rejuvenate and redefine the contours around your eyelids. It will even improve your fields of vision and a portion may even be covered by insurance. We can help redefine how others see you. Coach, we're back for the second half highlights of, of Dalton versus Sequoia, and we got into the old running clock thing, which I thoroughly despise in the fourth quarter, but <laughs> <clears throat> the third quarter was pretty exciting. As noted, as yes. noted. We third, were quarter, third quarter was pretty exciting. Absolutely. Number three was really dangerous, and uh, he was a guy that we didn't want to kick it to, and so we start the half off by kicking to him. Uh, you always so. want to, but you want to come out here and, and set the tone for the second half with the first possession. No doubt. No doubt. And these guys did a great job of, of doing that. They did. And, you know, they, they, they afforded us the luxury. Uh, right here, you see Jordan McKinney. Uh, you know, he gets better and better, uh, it seems like, every game. Uh, but solid play, solid play right here, building a wall. David Rockholt, uh, you know, I mean, we, we, we're a little bit of a, of a fill and spill type defense right now. And these guys are doing a great job of just getting it outside, making teams run uh, and, and – uh, you know, we give up about 30, 35 pounds maybe at a minimum inside, but those guys really play in their hearts out inside. So force him into a punt. Once again, we get, I mean, into the field goal, get great pressure on it, uh, and he dug hooks it and misses it. Come back, run the toss sweep here. <clears throat> Kelvis just kind of picking his way through, getting some people downfield, making some blocks, and all of a sudden he's out the gate. See that guy give up right there. Yep. But where's he, go, where's he going to be down at, Coach? And at the, actually, this is a touchdown. If you watch the film, yeah. he bounces on yeah. the – if he you bounces slow it down, he bounces off the – watch when he gets down here. You'll see him bounce off. But see, a lot of guys – there's Logan Pender down there making a block. A lot of guys downfield. Great job right here. You see it, Tyler Britton. What's this? Yep. Just a great job of staying off of that hit right there. But watch Kelvis. <clears throat> he bounces off this guy. Boom, into the end zone. Nothing yep, ever touched the nothing ground. Nothing ever touched the Should ground. Should have been a touchdown. Well, after that, I was committed, and I told him, I said, get back in there. <laughs> he started to come ball. off, and I was like, no, sir, you go back in there and get that touchdown. I want you to have that. Great job of Chase picking the ball up and giving it. 
after the other week. So that was yeah, good to see. Exactly. Don't take any chances. No chance. So I made it 31 to nothing. <laughs> and, you know, one of the things about an offense, I think, that happens, it's a challenge, is, you know, you kind of go down on the field. You've had a great first half. It's now almost like let's just control the second half. But you guys did a great job offensively challenging our offense. Look, go back out there and score. Right. I mean, go back out there and continue to do what you're doing. Yep. So good to see all right, our defense getting some younger guys in right here. Nick Faulkner, number 98, is getting to play. Uh, Jamel Darvel comes in. Of course, Edder is making a sound play on the outside. Great pressure up front. Force a throw into the boundary again. And then just a great job of Edder just staying one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know how many tackles he made one-on-one, -on -one, just he and the receiver. Get a good return right here. Of course, we like to have a little better communication. But you see right here, good job of our def of our, our return guys just getting what we can. Come back a little option play. Steal play. Yeah. <laughs> Steal the ball. And ah. just a – One turnover to the night. That yep. was it right there. Yep. Hate that. Great pursuit right here. Jake Myers did this all night long, and he makes one play in this in – this, game that where he literally lunges and I hopefully we'll see it but great pressure right here good job of our defensive front and we really didn't blitz as much the other night we lined up more in the box but we didn't blitz as much come back Tyler good job good job of folks getting after people Daniel Hurtada in there yep. good to see him a little getting... delay again to chase Good pass protection, good throw and catch. Good job of Peter right there. And Coach, where are we down at? At the one. <laughs> <laughs> the third the time. Old, at, the third time the third at the one yard line. Game. Great pass right here though, right into coverage. Great job of extension right there, getting the ball out. Come back. And we ended up with a penalty. And I think they backed us 15 up. 15 yard yeah. illegal participation, which yeah. is a yeah, I don't Crazy. I don't understand that one. Just a little uh, a little slant here to, to Peter, and you can see when they lined up that that corner uh, had no chance. No chance. I mean, he's eight <laughs> yards off. The safety was, and... was over on the other side of the field, and he had no, no shot at He knew that was a touchdown before the ball was even snapped. Makes it 38 to nothing, minute 32. It left in the third quarter here. Good kick. Look at that. Nope. Of course, I'm going to be pissed. Is Isai Hernandez just doing a great job. <laughs> a little bit of holding there on Edder. <laughs> Which is right here. You just, he's grabbing It's kind of like, hey. <laughs> but great pursuit right there by Nate. Good job of, of, of Jordan McKinney setting the corner. <clears throat> Once again, Jace right here making a tackle from behind. Great job of Jordan coming up again and playing as well. Come back at the football. This was a toss sweep, but the way they were playing, the, the five technique over there on Andrew was playing so wide that Kelvis just saw it and just cut it back against the grain. Watch the, watch the replay here. You see the ball's supposed to go outside. Caden but he Stokes. just takes it. And watch Caden, young fellow down here, gets down there, make, makes a block, tangles it, ties that guy up. <laughs> just, yep. and He's just gets, gotten his way. Then gets clipped from behind. Yep. <laughs> Great job of, of the offense right there, and Kelvis, you know, just being able to get the ball vertical. Uh, great speed, getting out on the perimeter. You know, we talked to our guys right before fourth quarter to make sure those guys understood that the game was getting a little chippy. You know, they, they were down, and so we had to stay within our game, and I was very proud of the way our guys won. We didn't just win, but they won the right way. And I uh, had a couple of compliments from our officials saying, hey, you guys are a class program. So I was very proud of our guys for that. See some younger guys in. And there's that play that I was talking about where Jake Myers just basically goes Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, just outstanding. You'll see him right here. And, you know, look, pursues from the backside, and you'll see him come running down. And a great effort. Just a great, great effort play. Great effort play. Does it again. Comes back and does it two plays in a row. Just outstanding effort. Good job here of Edder. Probably one of the few times that we blitzed all night. Most of the time it was just read and react. But by then the blood was in the water and, and, and you, know, you know what they're trying to do. So. 
So great play in there. David Rockholt, another solid game by him. Come back, throw a little slant pass, kind of back on our heels. One punt of the game. We're able to get it out. We had one possession the JV offense did and we're still playing against their one, so yeah. we didn't and, get very far. And you know that's a that's a tremendous chance that our, our coaches are taking trying to preserve a shutout. But at the same time these guys work hard. They've no. got to be a part of it. They need to feel the pressure of that shutout. So overall very proud of our team, very proud of our coaching staff, our fans. We had a great group that traveled over and just overall a good night for Dalton football. Absolutely. Train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Get one-on-one -on -one training from former professional and collegiate players. Featuring indoor baseball and softball training facilities, ground ball area, three pitching mounds, and four batting cages. Performance Sports Academy is also available for team rentals. Call 706-537-3169 today and train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. You got this. You're almost there. Just one more good try. You got this, baby. You can do this. I choose that one. Excellent choice. You're going to love the new addition to your home, and it weighs 55 ounces. I love it so much. It's perfect. It's beautiful. When adding a new addition to your home, come to Carpet Express and let us deliver you from the pains of choosing your flooring. Ah! All right, Coach, we're back to talk a little bit about the game with Creepy this week. Uh, at home at Harmon Field, nice to be back for uh, game number four here at Harmon Field. Absolutely. Uh, Creepy's a, a fine football team. They are. Uh, it starts with their coaching staff. Terry Crowder uh, is the head coach. He was a uh, state champion coach over at uh, Chattahoochee. Uh, came to, to Creepview when the school started. He's been there for a while. Um, you know, he's a um, – um, they're going to be another one of these Cherokee County, Canton physical teams, and you watch them on film, and you know they're not trying to out-athlete anybody. Although they do operate, um, you know they're going to be a true spread team. I mean, when you look at them, they're empty set, and then suddenly they'll jump back and be in a uh, for two plays. You know they'll they'll may bring in and, and bring the backs in, but for the most part, they're they're spreading the field and they want to throw the ball and get it on the flanks and try to get you to out, you know, out shift or whatever. So a little bit of the same thing that, that Sequoia did, it's just where Sequoia was doing it with formations uh, and, and, and their running plays, they're going to do it more with their, with their spread formation and, uh, and with their passing plays. Defensively, they're an odd front team. They'll, they'll show, it seems like their base defense is a 3-5, which we've seen, yeah. seen already twice, twice this year. I think there should be a GHSA rule where you don't have to block that front, but only Just two, so many twice a, a season. Year. That's right. That's exactly right. But they're a little yeah. different. They're more of a static front. Yeah. They, 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 they play and read. They don't, they're not, almost too gap it. They're not run through guys like, like Calhoun and yeah. some of the other teams we've seen. So it'll be a little different look for the guys up front this week. Special teams, very sound. Uh, in fact, probably has one of the better punters. Uh, and their kickoff diet guy does an outstanding job of really getting a lot of hype on the ball. So that's something we'll have to work on this week, really being sound in our, our blocking uh, on our return game. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be back with more Catamount Football Show in just a minute. I can't believe it's football time again here in Northwest Georgia. The Oakwood Cafe and my family are big fans of football, much like most of our customers. But this year, instead of just rooting for our teams, we are also rooting for your team. So bring your ticket stub out to the Oakwood Cafe on Saturday night and you will receive a discount based on your team's margin of victory. If your team wins by 50 points, you will receive 50% off. So good luck and come on out to the Oakwood Cafe on Saturday night. Go, Go Big Red! Red. Go Honesty, integrity, and hard work, leadership, quality, and value. Just a few words to describe the company and people that make up Shaw Industries. 
Bradshaw Industries, the world's leading carpet manufacturer, is proud to be a sponsor of Dalton Catamount Football. Shaw Industries, where great floors begin. The health of our region depends on the health of its people. That is why Hamilton is here. We're opening more physician practices and urgent care centers near you, offering medical care that fits your schedule. We're reaching out to the community and helping to train the next generation of health professionals and giving you new ways to search for doctors and health information from wherever you are. We're here for you. Hamilton Medical Center. Your health is our mission. Well, Coach, we've come to the end of another show here, but let's do a little housekeeping before we, before we close up everything. Uh, got the young fellows playing this week. Mm -hmm. Freshmen play Monday. JV play Thursday. Freshman at Ottawa. 530 uh, on Monday and then the JV is at Rome and that's a scheduling change uh, for the JV. It was supposed to have been oh, two weeks ago mm -hmm. moving to this week so they'll play at Rome uh, on Thursday and I know that we, we try to stay opposite. We try to go JV but the way the schedule worked out we needed the freshman game against Rome to be at home so we switched that up. So Monday at Ottawa at 530 with the freshman. Thursday with the JV at 5.30 at, at Rome. At, out, and at Barron Stadium, not at the school. It'll be at Barron Stadium. Get out and support the, the young fellows. Those are guys you're going to see on Friday nights next year. And Absolutely. They're doing a good job. JV are 2-0, and oh, and I think the freshmen are 1-1. One, one one one. One one. Yeah. So, yeah. No, so, no, 1-0-1. One 1-0-1. Oh one. One oh one one. That's tie. right. Yeah, had a tie. 1-0-1. Oh right. one. So they're both doing – both teams doing a good job. And, That's right. Uh, good fellows out there. Home game Friday night. So – Getting this game. This is home game number four. There's only one left after this. Right. So we certainly want to invite right. everybody out to come to the game and, and support Absolutely. Dalton and see the Creekview Grizzlies. That's right. Uh, in the action. Grizzlies. Yeah. New, new team coming to Harmonfield. I don't believe they've ever been here. So gonna be a great game. Very very well coached team. Very tough team. Very physical. So um, you know we'll we'll see what we get on Friday. Certainly want to thank the the uh, quarterback club for providing the buses. I know when we got down wow. there with the equipment, we were coming in and I had I don't know how many of the Sequoia people say to me. Boy, your kids look great. We love oh, the man. red blazers and the ties and yep. just a lot of um, po extremely positive comments about, about no our doubt. kids and, and no coming out off those buses like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, the two parts. The, the First of all, our kids just all looking the same. I mean, their coats and ties, uh, first class. I mean, that sends, and, and I know that started 1966, 67. Uh, with Coach Chapel, I'm so proud that we're able to continue that tradition with the kids. It's really exciting. And then riding the buses down, uh, you know, to be on those buses, have internet capability going down. Coach Carpenter's right beside me. He'll st he's still breaking down film. He and Coach Thompson. Uh, you and, sure he uh, wasn't playing, uh, playing <laughs> Call of Duty or something? something yeah. <laughs> now I, I'd hear him back there. You know, Eureka. You know, Candy broke, Crush. Yeah, or broke something. But uh, it was just a really, really, you know, just a great night for football. Appreciate the quarterback club and the moms and the dads, the volunteers, Jerry Scott. Uh, Michael Leonard and the chicken uh, boxes and the chicken friend Kentucky Fried Chicken <laughs> appreciate all that they do that was uh, that was great the kids enjoyed it absolutely well, let's close up the show like we always do and say we'll be back next week same cat time same cat channel go big red <laughs>